March of 2008, I developed pneumonia. And then I went to the doctor and, you know, diagnosed that, put me on an antibiotic. And he said, dude, be, be darn sure you come back in 30 days to retake the x-ray to make sure we got it all. So for once, I did what the doctor told me. And they found the tumor. And I had lung cancer. And... Boy, for, for, from that point, the journey just got very interesting, Andrew. Um, God clearly put me in his grip and, 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 and took me on a path uh, to pull me closer to him. And, and it was manifested in so many different ways. Um, the, the first Sunday after diagnosis, Hampsey and I are in church, and uh, Gary Myers that did his thing about, hey, after the service, there's going to be some Stephen minister guys up here for you to pray with. Well, we, we probably knocked a few people over getting up to the front of church to, <laughs> to talk, and, and there was Bill Fader, of all people, you know, the, the just... And, and, and so Bill asked us what was going on. We told him, and, and it's so funny because we, we, we know Bill prayed for, for a solid 10 minutes plus. He says he can't believe that's possible because he never prayed that long before. But it, it was just, just special. At diagnosis, in, in essence, they, 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 they said, hey, dude, the, the best your situation could be is stage 3A lung cancer. So then they, they take you down a path and they do some testing. They do PET scans and CAT scans and who knows what other kind of scans. And on the day we went for final test results and found out I was, I, I had gotten the best I could get. I was only, only 3A. He spared me because there's a lot of work for me to do at dark.